When you think of golf, do you picture a serene, gentleman sport of friendly competition? Well, think again. Golf has had its fair share of intense feuds and rivalries, some so fierce that they've produced some of the most tense yet entertaining moments in the history of the sport. So why are these rivalries so captivating? And what can they teach us about the human side of this classic sport? Stay with us until the end to find out the answers to these questions and more as we dive into the most intense feuds in golf history. I hear his comments afterwards and not real surprising that he's complaining about something. Paul Azinger versus Seve Ballesteros. Our journey into the world of golf feuds begins with a trip back in time to the 1989 Ryder Cup where American golfer Paul Azinger and Spanish legend Seve Ballesteros went head-to-head -head in a Sunday singles match. Both players were known for their passionate personalities and unyielding determination to win, which set the stage for a rivalry that went beyond just the competitive spirit of the sport. The tension between Azinger and Ballesteros started simmering on the second green, when Azinger refused to allow Ballesteros to switch out his scuffed golf ball. In response to this unusual move, Seve fired back, is this the way you want to play today? The tension between the two players only grew as their match continued, as Ballesteros returned the favor by disputing a drop that Azinger took out of the water on the 18th hole. While Azinger won the match one up, this intense rivalry was not over. Two years later, at the 1991 Ryder Cup, they were at each other's throats again, as fate paired the two golfers together again on the first day of four ball matches. It was Paul Azinger and Chip Beck versus Seve Ballesteros and Jose Maria Olazabel, as another dispute over a golf ball would emerge. Beck used Azinger's golf ball as he teed off on the seventh hole, a move that was against the rules. However, in a stunningly clever move, Ballesteros waited until the tenth hole, when the Americans were three up in the match, to alert a rules official of the Americans' golf ball switch, in an effort to distract and undermine their performance on the back nine. The plan worked to perfection, as the Americans became so furious and vehemently denied any intention of cheating that they crumbled on the remaining holes, allowing the Spaniards to storm back and win the match 2 and 1. But despite all of the heated contention during their matches, the two golfers always had respect for each other. Paul Azinger summed it up best when he said, Despite everything, I just couldn't help loving the guy, except for one week every other year. VJ Singh vs Phil Mickelson The 2005 Masters Tournament provided the backdrop for yet another high-profile feud in the world of golf, this time featuring star players VJ Singh and Phil Mickelson. Singh had become somewhat infamous for stirring up beef with other players, and this instance was no exception. The controversy began on the 12th hole during the second round, as VJ was playing in the group behind Phil. He called in a rules official and complained that Mickelson's golf spikes were leaving deep marks on the green. So, as the official informed Mickelson of the situation on the 13th hole, Phil graciously offered to change his spikes when he got in if there was a problem. And although there ended up being no problem at all with his shoes, the drama did not end there. While talking to the media after his round, Mickelson expressed his feelings on the incident, saying, I was extremely distracted and would have appreciated if it would have been handled differently or after the round. After sitting in the locker room for a while, I heard VJ talking to other players about it and I confronted him. He expressed his concerns. I expressed my disappointment with the way it was handled. However, this seems to be a watered down version of what actually happened, as according to multiple inside sources, Singh and Mickelson got into a heated shouting match, with multiple obscenities being tossed back and forth, and Phil asking VJ if he wanted to settle the issue outside. Singh did not take him up on the offer though. While some fisticuffs between the two star golfers might have been entertaining, it's probably for the best that this feud did not reach that point. Tiger Woods vs Sergio Garcia the long-standing feud between these two prodigious talents comes as no surprise, as the two golfers are two very different people that have almost seemed destined to clash. First, there's Tiger, the stoic icon who has always kept his cards close to his chest. He was a mystery to us all for years, and until recent years, we could only speculate about the man behind the myth. Then there's Sergio, the passionate and outspoken Spaniard who wears his heart on his sleeve. 
he's known for blurting out some pretty silly stuff, but you can't help but love him for it. From the moment Tiger beat the 19-year-old Sergio by one stroke at the 1999 PGA Championship in Medina, the animosity between them grew. The very next year, the two stars faced off in a made-for-TV match dubbed The Battle at Big Horn. Garcia defeated Woods in the match and proceeded to celebrate, perhaps a little excessively. This seemingly rubbed Tiger the wrong way, as he would spend the next 15 years beating Sergio handily whenever he had the chance. In the years that followed, the two would trade jabs back and forth. At the 2002 US Open, after play was suspended due to rain, Garcia complained that the tournament officials were biased, claiming that Tiger Woods being on the course during the rainstorm was the reason for the halt in play. A few years later, Tiger won the 2006 Open Championship, just two months after his father had died. And as fate would have it, he was in the final pairing with Sergio on Sunday. However, Garcia disappointed in his final round performance. And after the tournament, Woods apparently texted a friend that he had bludgeoned Tweety Bird, a reference to Sergio's flashy yellow outfit from that day. But perhaps the darkest moment in their storied feud came in 2013 at the European Tour Players Award Tour, when Garcia made a racially insensitive remark about Woods saying that he would invite him over for some fried chicken after the upcoming Players' Championship. He would later apologize, saying, I answered a question that was clearly made towards me as a joke with a silly remark, but in no way was the comment meant in a racist manner. Ironically, Tiger would go on to win the 2013 Players' Championship. Although the hostility between Woods and Garcia has subsided somewhat in recent years, their rivalry remains one of the most intense and memorable in the history of golf. This enduring conflict serves as a reminder that even the most talented and successful athletes are not immune to personal grievances and that such animosities can sometimes overshadow the sport itself. The Woods-Garcia feud not only provided a compelling storyline for fans to follow, but also highlighted the fierce and competitive spirit that exists within the world of professional golf. Patrick Reed vs. Jordan Spieth Even close friendships can sometimes transform into contentious battles, as demonstrated by the case of Patrick Reed and Jordan Spieth. The two American golfers were once considered an unstoppable force in team events, finding tremendous success in 2014 at the Glen Eagles Ryder Cup and again at Hazeltine in 2016. However, the tides turned in 2018, when Reed was denied relief by a rules official at Bay Hill. He grumbled, I guess my name needs to be Jordan Spieth. Later that year, he would also make a few jokes during interviews, implying that he had carried Spieth during their Ryder Cup matches. But the real fireworks would come at the 2018 Ryder Cup, when golf fans were surprised to see that Spieth and Reed were not paired together in any of the matches. In an interview with the New York Times, Reed said, The issue is obviously with Jordan not wanting to play with me. I don't have any issue with Jordan. When it comes right down to it, I don't care if I like the person I'm paired with or if the person likes me, as long as it works and it sets up the team for success. Ultimately, their rift is believed to have played a significant role in Team USA's disappointing loss at the 2018 Ryder Cup. But soon after this in 2019, they seemed to work things out, as they were paired together in the third round of the Farmers Insurance Open and hugged it out on the first tee. Brooks Kupka vs. Bryson DeChambeau One of the most recent and more entertaining feuds in the world of golf involves Brooks Kupka and Bryson DeChambeau. It all started in 2019, as DeChambeau was becoming notorious for his slow play during tournaments. Kupka was not shy about his thoughts on the matter, saying, I just don't understand how it takes a minute and 20 seconds, a minute and 15 to hit a golf ball. It's not that hard. And from there, it didn't take long for things to snowball into a full-scale rivalry, characterized by a series of social media jabs and on-course confrontations. Kupka and DeChambeau made no secret of their mutual dislike, and their interactions during tournaments and interviews have only fueled the fire. A particularly memorable moment occurred during a live interview when Kupka couldn't hide his disdain for DeChambeau, rolling his eyes in exasperation as Bryson passed by in the background. This display of animosity quickly went viral all over social media. 
While the rivalry between Kupka and Deschambeau has provided a wealth of entertainment for golf fans, it also offers a fascinating look into the competitive nature of the sport and the psychological warfare that can occur between players. The lengths to which both golfers have gone to assert their dominance over one another, both on and off the course, reveal the intensity that can lie beneath the surface of a seemingly calm and composed sport. However, the two golfers seemed to bury the hatchet at the 2021 Ryder Cup, reportedly asking team captain Steve Stricker to play together as teammates for the foursome matches, and even hugging it out afterwards as Team USA celebrated their victory. Well, now it's your turn. Which of these feuds do you find the most captivating? Are there any other rivalries you think should be on the list? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more golf content coming your way soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.